in New Orleans, in Katrina, eight years ago. 65% of the people that died in that storm were over the age of 50. In Sandy, right here in New York, 50% of the people that died in the storm were over the age of 65. That makes us, all of us in that age category, particularly vulnerable. The people that are best prepared for storms like Katrina and Sandy have the best chances of survival. FEMA for Seniors comes to seniors in many venues to help them understand A, why it is important for them to be prepared, and B, how to be prepared. And we are here to explain what sort of things FEMA suggests you place in your emergency to go kit. First thing, you want to pack non-perishable food items and water. Tell them everybody needs a flashlight with batteries. Everybody should have a solar powered radio to hear, hear what's going on. I'm not going to tell you food's not important and water's not important and flashlights aren't important. What you really need to take with you is things that only you have for yourself, that only you can bring for yourself, and you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about documentation. You need, you need some kind of envelope like this. We will give you a label, just like this. Just stick an envelope yourself and fill it out. Got your uh, power of attorneys in here, your do not resuscitate order. You got your doctor's name. You've got a complete list of all the medications you're taking. I like what he said about getting all the important papers together. I have that in the plastic bag. It was very informative, and this is what people need to know. Because lo and behold, it's going to be a flood one day. But if we're prepared for it, if we're all prepared for it, we're all going to be a lot better off in the end.